Hey guys and welcome back. I uh, wanted to come to you today to tell you that I'm going to be changing things up a little bit with my upcoming videos. I'm still going to be doing Earth Defense Force videos, but I am going to step away from them just for a little bit. Uh, just because I need to change things a little bit. Just need to step away. Uh, I love Earth Defense Force. I am not going away from Earth Defense Force. But I just wanted to do some different things as a content creator. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be still within the gaming culture and within nerd culture. And I'm still going to be doing EDF videos. They're just not going to be back to back to back. Uh, for those of you who have been with me since the beginning, you know that I've been doing Earth Defense Force videos for going on three years now. And have covered many different aspects of numerous games in the series. And so I just needed to do something that was uh, refreshing for me and hopefully will be enjoyable with you all so just want to give you guys a heads up let you all know that uh, my channel isn't changing it's still going to be an earth defense force channel but i'm just going to splice in some other content uh, here and there and with that that leads me into the meat of today's video which is gashapon uh, for those of you who don't know what Gashapon is, it is basically Japanese vending machines that have different toys and trinkets and things that follow anime and gaming culture, nerd culture. Uh, all those different things that fall within those genres are in these Gashapon machines. And you'll have to forgive me guys if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but I've seen them online and never had... Uh, I was not going to buy Gashapon uh, off the internet because I knew what I was getting. The, the, the cool thing about Gashapon is that it's, it's like our little vending machines and stuff. You see a whole bunch of different things in the machine, you crank it and hope you get something cool. Well, uh, so I wasn't going to order any online, but I happened to come across two Gashapon machines here in the United States. And they were at a GameStop of all places, and they were legit Gashapon machines. So, I took a chance. I saw them, I wanted to try them out, and because it usually, guys, if you don't know what Gashapon is, uh, like I said, it's these little vending machines that give you toys, but the Japanese like to put a lot of really, really cool stuff in their machines. And so, you don't, you don't get garbage. Uh, well, I guess you can, but you don't usually get garbage like you do from our uh, stupid little toy vending machines that you see at the supermarkets. They usually have some pretty cool stuff, and the vending machine that I, uh, or the Gashapon machine that I went to today, um, was a Mobile Suit Gundam Gashapon. And as you guys have probably seen on my channel, every once in a while I'll make a Gundam video, and it, Gundam has been one of my favorite, actually Gundam is my favorite anime of all time. Uh, I got into it back in college and really enjoyed it and just uh, have always had a, a love for it. I've kind of gotten out of the newer stuff, but the One Year War era, that's, that's my cup of tea when it comes to Mobile Suit Gundam, which got me excited when I saw these Gashapons because they were Zaku's. And for those of you who don't know what a Zaku is, a Zaku is a, a, a Principality of Xeon mobile suit. It's so basically, depending on how you look at it, they're, for the most part, the bad guys of the anime. But they have arguably some of the coolest mobile suits out there. Now, for those of you who know Gundam, does that look like a Zaku to you? No. So... What this is, is a puzzle that you piece together and it turns into, based on the picture, a really cool looking Zaku, a Zaku head. So this is the standard Zaku and this is the Black Tri-Stars Zaku. And those of you who know the one year war, you know who the Black Tri-Stars are. So anyway guys, what I wanted to do was put these together and have you guys there to watch it done so all right let's go ahead and jump into it all right here we go so i'm in my kids classroom here and i'm using one of their tables so 
I'm kind of down here on my knees and we're going to try to figure out uh, how to put this thing together. So we'll put the black TriStar one over here to the side and we'll start with this one. MS-06 Zaku 2. He even got the model number on the side of it. Oh, there we go. Okay, here's first piece. Okay, let's... Alright. Oh boy, this is a... Bit, a little bit more involved than I thought it would be. Okay. But the detail is quite startling. Wow. Okay, so piece of paper here. Let's see if we've got any instructions. It's uh it says here it's Exceed Model Zaku Head, Zaku 2 mass production type. Each capsule contains one head for display, three to collect. Well, I've collected two of them. The only other one was Char's. Oh boy. I am going to need a microscope to read these instructions. Okay. So step one, these are protection parts not used to build so okay so this part this part and this part actually there's a little confused here let's see Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So that comes out there. Put these. Okay, so the instructions are saying that these pieces here. Oh, sorry. Got to do a camera. <laughs> so the instructions are saying that these three pieces here don't have anything to do with the build. So we'll push them to the side here. All right, next up. Remove the base and other parts from the head. Detach the internal unit from the bottom. Okay. Detach the internal unit from the bottom. So. Okay, it's got some wiggle room here, but how do you detach it? Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. So piece there my gosh this is a uh, quite nice and quite detailed so okay so detached it there all right so good so this your okay. so we got this piece this piece here and this piece okay so we've got these three pieces that are all going to be part of it okay pull out the front and back parts from the head pull until it makes a snap sound okay so it says here oh gosh what did I just do oh boy okay um, let's put that back over there I don't think I was supposed to. Okay, there's a snap sound. Got it. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Just the, the detailing. It's, you can look at all the internal mechanisms. Okay, anyway, let's just keep going. All right, next up. Pull. Okay, it's, it's, it's uh, written in English, so let me finish the English here. Pull the both left and 
pull the both left and right knob until here. Okay, so. Oh, I don't want to break it. Okay, I, I mean, is that what I'm supposed to do? Good night. Don't, don't break, don't break. Okay. Okay, that's actually down. All right. Build the two pipes, okay? Never built one of these guys, so bear with me. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to break any of the pieces. Okay. All right, set that over here for now. Okay, so. Take. So this piece goes there. Then this piece goes there. Followed by. Let's see, so there, there, there. Those, and then. Okay, got it. Alright, so this goes like this. Alright. This piece goes in here, like that. Okay. That was built. Alright. So let's not mess this up. There. First, then that one, then this one. Okay, just didn't want to get them out of order. Okay, now we have that built. In reference to the photo, attach the built parts and base. Okay, so we take this and okay, there's the mono eye. Alright, apparently there's oh my gosh, the mono eye even moves. Ah, oh, foot. Okay, this is easier said than done. I gotta have little fingers. There we go, got it, okay. All right. All right, now we've got the Zaku Eye installed. Now I need the visor, okay. How does this go exactly? So it sits down in there like that. I guess it goes in there like that. Okay. Just kind of sits there, I guess. And that goes back. Oh boy. Okay. So that goes on the glass. Okay. Alright, let's let's try this again. Let's take this out. Apparently this fits into the groove. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Alright. So the glass attaches to the upper part. This yes, apparently slides down into that.
<laughs> I'm sorry guys. I, I need a lot tinier hands to do this. Okay, so apparently this is fit right on there. Okay, okay, here we go. Well, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. Anyway, all right. Apparently this, well, so far I've got it put together right, but there's something here that I'm not doing right with this piece back here. So, there we go. Okay. Lower it back down. So there's that, just sits on it. And then this piece clips in here. And this piece clips up here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that piece goes there. Got a little groove in it. Okay. Still don't think I have that headpiece on right, but nonetheless, it looks pretty slick. Okay, next. All right. Apparently, this headpiece here is supposed to attach to that and make a snap sound, is what it's saying. Well, it ain't wanting to do it, so for now, it'll just sit on it. So then you got the base here. And I'm supposed to put this right there. And other than me getting this to snap into place, which apparently it does not want to do, and apparently it's not going to do, Boy, I'm making this video longer than it needs to be, huh? <laughs> Sorry if I've been getting out of frame here. I'm trying to get it squared away here, but all right. So here we go, guys. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is an MS06 Zaku from Mobile Suit Gundam. It's one of the mainstay base mobile suits that the Principality of Xeon uses in their war against the Federation. So, <laughs> and basically this is supposed to raise up, show you the mono eye, and then the mono eye itself actually can be turned. There's actually a little pivot up here. I guess you can put your fingernail in it and kind of turn it. Or, well, I can't really get it to turn, but oh, there goes the eye. But I'll get back over here. Here we go. But anyway, there it goes. There we go. Now I got it. Those of you who have seen the show, you know it's like <laughs> kind of has a sound effect that I don't do justice to as it moves. Kind of a metallic sound as it I can't get it right but anyway guys this is a Gashapon my very first and for a series that is one of my favorite animes of all time mobile suit Gundam oh yeah this piece opens up in the front too and it's called uh just an openable pipe base. So basically you're supposed to be able to... <laughs> oh man, guys. Okay, there we go. Once it sits on the shelf, it'll look cool. 
supposed to be able to open this up, open the pipe base up, and then see the mono eye. So, all right, guys, that is my very first gash pond. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been fun for you. I've actually had a, a fun time putting this together, and I'm hoping that my black tri-star Zaku head doesn't give me a, as much grief. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. More episodes uh, to come, and going to be doing uh, some trips to the pawn shop. You'll be amazed what I find at our little local pawn shop here. So, just stay tuned. You'll see some of that. All right, guys. As always, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming. Hey, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I figured out what I did wrong and just wanted to show you. This actually does snap in, so there you go. Now I've got the headpiece on. Bottom still keeps wanting to come off, but there's the headpiece. There's the front piece that opens, and the mono eye that doesn't want to stay still. There we go, guys. There, now it's fixed. Now it's complete. Now I can sit on my shelf. So, anyway, sorry, just wanted to show that to you guys. All right. Take care, guys.